Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the unceded territory of the Coast Salish Nations in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I am here to share with you my June 2020 budget plan. Um, we are well into the month, about halfway through. Um, let me know down below how your budget is going. And also let me know down below um, if you are participating in the national and international uprising that is taking place right now in response to the unjust and extrajudicious killing um, by police officers of countless Black Americans. Um, I just think this is a historical moment that we're experiencing right now. We all have a chance to be part of creating a better um, country in a better world. Um, and I just can't stress that enough. Unfortunately, um, during the revolution, we still need to budget. And I know that I have not been paying very good attention. I felt called to share funding, um, share my income, and I do need to go over um, my plan so I can get to my budget check-ins. Um, hope that you're all doing well with your budget and finding room, and especially if you are a fellow white person, finding room in your budget um, and even challenging your budget to share to support the movement. Um, I know that that's not easy for everyone. I definitely count myself um, as very lucky to have that room, um, and I am going to challenge myself a little bit more um, every single month. Now. Um, let's get into this budget plan. I'm actually going to adjust it a little as we go. Um, I'm planning to bring in $2,950. Um, as you may know, right now, I am really lucky to be able to be doing my full-time job, um, but I do not have a adjunct class right now, um, nor do I have one in the fall. So um, while I'm very lucky to have my base income stay the same, um, I am I'm bringing in a little less income than usual, so that's how come. Um, I'm I've, I'm expecting because I've already received it, twelve seventy five in interest income, and that is all I'm expecting as far as income is concerned. Um, sharing my income, I think I've already <laughs> spent this. So I'm just gonna up this a little. I have decided. So normally I. Um, so I'm just going to up that to 150. As far as 2% to art, um, y'all know that I've been um, experiencing some uh, pretty intense health stuff with my cats. I'm very thankful to be in the position to take them to the specialists that they need to go to. Um, and they are both doing well. They're both, you know, eating and active and drinking and doing all the things. Um, but we are addressing their health issues. So I'm just going into a little bit of storm mode um, here because I have a lot of output <laughs> in that category and it is kind of stressful for me. I'm not used to having such um, big expenses. So I'm gonna go ahead and forego that 2% to art, um, but I am like, uh, I am gonna keep sharing my income um, pretty similar. And then my emergency fund, as usual, I'm going to put that 250 that would typically go into my Roth IRA into my emergency fund. Savings, that 1275 of interest goes into this random little extra account. I don't know why I do this, but I just like to. And In, uh, investment, Roth IRA, that 250 is going to go in. Rent and all of that stuff is the same. Um, except for actually, I, for some reason, just didn't get charged. Like I didn't have a bill. I actually got a bill that's like, no, I, I didn't get a bill. I didn't get uh, my automatic payment taken out for my electricity in May. So it's uh, like just twice as much in June. So I'm just going to put 80 to there. I don't exactly remember how much it is, um, but I did need to adjust that. Uh, everything else is the same. Groceries, I'm trying really hard to stay under 200. I've got my CSA coming in, so I'm good in the vegetable department. 
Um, there are just a few things that I need to supplement with. And well, I'm getting a lot of greens and lettuce. So I have to eat like a quota of salads per day to work through um, my CSA box. And so I've just kind of needed to supplement with like tomatoes and cucumbers because um, those are not in season yet, although I've got babies of both of those things. I'm leaving my restaurants at 100. Um, I actually have not been needing this. I haven't needed 100 the last month or two, but I'm actually hoping to eat out a little more this this uh, month. Um, not to go out, um, but maybe to do a little more takeout. Household is zero. Health is zero. Um, kitties, that's 150 for usual maintenance stuff. Gas, I'm leaving at 60, although it has not been that much um, since the pandemic hit. Entertainment is 655. Fun, I'm giving myself 100, so I am trying to go into storm mode. I hope that I won't use it, but I also like need to give myself a little room so that I don't, I don't know, so I just don't blow it. Um, auto insurance, adventures insurance is the same as usual. And then I have, I did put 50 towards gifts because it's my father's birthday and father's day this month. Um, although I, I really need to get together. <laughs> Has not been at the top of my priority list this last couple weeks. And then I've been doing this $20 towards a winter coat. I can't remember if I really mentioned it. I kind of forgot, but I set it in my bank account to come out every month. So I'm actually working towards buying a new winter coat. Um, mine like has a hole in it and then I didn't mend it. So like the filling has been <laughs> coming out. So I think it's time to invest in a new one. I've had that one several years. Um, so I've got 733, 73 to work with. And frankly, I've already spent more than that on Violet. It was, Sorry, buddy, right here um, this month. Yes, it continues. And yes, I have spent more on their vet bills than I did on my car. Um, but obviously this is all going to go here, which leaves me with 768, which actually means that I'm in the red, so I'm probably gonna have to go into my emergency fund for these guys this month. Um, but again, very thankful to have that option and I am gonna do what I gotta do. So let me know down below how your month's going, how you're contributing to um, the Black Lives Matter movement and um, I think that's everything. I'll see you in the next video, thank you.